Now I'm going to demonstrate the bougie device, the gum bougie. So this is a tube introducer that can help with intubation. I like to use these on patients who have a hard time visualizing their airway. So our obese patients and our patients with short necks, this is a very good tool we can use to help intubate our patients. So we are going to put the ET tube over the end of the gum bougie, just like if it was a stylet. And we're actually going to use this and introduce this into the glottic opening and then we can slide our tube down over it. So just like a regular innovation, I'm gonna go in with my laryngoscope. I'm gonna visualize the airway, and I'm gonna take the end of my gum bougie and insert it in. And we saw that it had a hook at the end. We can actually slide this back and forth and feel the tracheal rings of the patient to know that we're in. And then I'm just going to slide my ET tube down over it and watch the balloon go in through the airway. Remember with all innovations, we never wanna go past Christmas. So you should never be inserting a tube more than 25 centimeters into your patient. So we avoid that right main stem bronchus innovation. Go ahead and inflate your balloon. Make sure you don't let go of your tube. Always disconnect your syringe as soon as the balloon's inflated so we don't get air leakage. And then we wanna make sure that we have correct placement by looking for condensation in the tube using waveform capnography and of course the best way listening to lung sounds over the apexes and bases and making sure we do not have any lung uh, air sounds over the epigastrum remember we're going to ventilate one breath every six seconds okay